Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are in another Let's Play for the Stalingrad campaign for the Soviets. We're going to be doing the brilliant victory for Gittel Saturn. So, without further ado, let's get to it. And as you can see, the last result, but we're just going to show you how this was achieved. Um, the first thing you need to do is just noting that when your armor does attack, the Romanian infantry, um, you'll get a 100% chance of an overrun, which means you can then attack again, uh, and that's quite important um, to get a bridge head across here, so attacking that unit first has always made a massive difference. Using your strafe ability to try to suppress this unit means that you can um, hopefully be able to come straight across the river, and again, if I wasn't able to remove that unit, I could have attacked with armor. Make sure bringing in the strongest um, unit to hold that line uh, is quite important there. And if you have any gaps here, they will attack. Up here, just making sure that you um, have the ability for the armor to steer it across. So we're just looking to find some sort of gap in here. Because it moves, it means a special step was unable to be used, but no worries there. I'm not too worried about taking the supply source that's here because they're massively supplied from down here. And here we just try to force our way down, not worrying about destroying units, but rather just making progression. In this map, you have to be very quick. Um, we're supplying our source up here because we need the range um, to be able to supply our units as we take here. Simple, they readjust. They will always try to cut off your advancing unit, so it's important um, to try to maintain that line of supply. Because they're holding it with an Italian infantry unit, it's not going to be a challenge. Just take note that um, it's important to keep putting your supply um, abilities into the northern supply source because, as you'll see, 3, 2, 1 you'll need to put at least one more into there so you can take this unit and keep it in supply. Progress down. Just a, uh, taking a little bit of pressure off to make sure the Italian units don't attack, but considering um, they're so weak, they're not really going to be challenging more than just taking up a uh, empty hexagon square. Here, just a simple case of uh, taking the objective and then making sure there's the ability to hold it. No real trouble there. Now we're just concentrating on the east approach. Just again trying to force an, um, our way down using our. Well, unsuccessfully, we didn't do any damage at all on that uh, Panzer unit. Um, now that was very expensive, but I needed to make sure that there was that space because I had to keep pushing. If I put the army unit there, it would have been quite disastrous um, to actually get to this back objective. Just to ban the unit so I can get the armor across and then attack, though taking out one unit is not very effective. Again, more infantry. My armor should have no trouble holding this position. Uh, they will attempt to attack and um, cut off supply. They never seem to take the supply source from here, but they will definitely try to push through. It shouldn't be too much of a trouble because when you play these missions, you need to play them as if you are trying to get the brilliant victory, which is in four turns. And for that, it's important to play um, units even if you're going to be out of resource in the turn. So if that draws off those, those units to cut off supply, well I can still get a you know, brute victory. Okay, just taking that infantry south. Just trying to make sure that armor unit can't just directly pile drive up to my northern supply. A little bit of a clean up. Push our armor south. I 
I like to just try to clean up the smidge they can't cut me off, but it doesn't look like it's going to be too much of an issue. But given that next turn is a brilliant victory, it doesn't matter if you enter our supply. Um, now, I did do this um, attack here because they do put armor um, into one of these spaces, so if I'm able to cut off that section from the territory, I can stop the armor from cutting through. Now, pushing my units as far um, southwest as possible so that I can be prepared to take this final objective. I'm not particularly worried about being cut off here because we're trying to play to win in the next turn. If I can get the most weakest unit across with only one um, part unit in it and I take the objective and I've still won. It's not, it's not about worrying what happens after the next turn. Okay, so they've got looks like two lines of defense. Which is quite good because if um, while these units are incredibly weak, they are a, a unit's turn. Now I um, have attack that would be wasted on them. So here we're just trying to clear off this. If we can, we can just push this unit straight through and not have to worry about going around. So that's done. We attack. Full supply. Now we just try to find the unit. And huzzah! We have won the Bruin victory. If I had to, um, I could have tried to bring down my armor. The only problem is. I would have had to waste um, the turn probably taking out these two units and it uh, in the forest here would have made it particularly hard to navigate so luckily they were distracted and drawn off uh, over to my supply source and by this unit um, or units of armor here and but anyway we won so brilliant victory another one for the uh, for the Soviets I uh, hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this and you've um, gained some experience Hurrah!